Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Ray Guitar channel and today guys we've got a little bit of clowning to do on fucking Sneeko today guys. Now I understand oh my god this is like the 80 millionth fucking Sneeko video I've made but hey what can I say whenever there is a well running so deep and rich with the amount of cringe coming out of this man I'm gonna drain that well until it is Bone dry, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to poke and prod this fucking horse until I suck every individual fucking impression I possibly can out of this topic because this man is genuinely a fucking brain dead idiot. So, after setting all of that up, ladies and gentlemen, what happened? Why am I talking about Sneeko again? Well, recently, while he was doing an IRL live stream, he finally saw his audience members. And it's pretty much what you expect, ladies and gentlemen. It's middle school boys who genuinely don't understand like irony and uh, jokes or anything like that in any way shape or form fuck the you. woman fuck the woman what <laughs> <laughs> no 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 wait wait, wait. We, we, love we love women we love women we love women but not not like transgender yes sir we love everybody <laughs> no no okay yeah, 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 yeah march reach Right. What have I done? Can I get in the video? Fucking talk. Can I get in the video? Yeah, yeah. Talk okay. to him. Talk to him. Yo, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. Now, obviously, this is just a maximum amount of fucking cringe uh, coming straight out of the Sneeko fan base, ladies and gentlemen. But, like, what do you expect? All of the fucking red pill retards are genuinely, like, little boys who've never had a girlfriend in their entire fucking life. And how do you think Sneeko decided to respond to this, guys? Well, he said they are children, and obviously joking, this is how I was at 12. Now, I remember how I was at 12. I said pretty absurd stuff but it wasn't just like haha fuck the women haha like I would actually try and come up with a punchline a joke like these kids are literally in a state of fucking fanboying ladies and gentlemen and this little dude's just blurting out what he thinks his hero Sneeko would want him to say like this is fucked up dude but then he continues on after saying well it's obviously just jokes by saying but if it sounds egregious to you blame the rainbow flags in their classrooms blame the media for a mask men. It's your fault for forcing an obvious agenda, not these kids. Boys will be boys. Now I'm a big fan of jokes, ladies and gentlemen, but trying to like excuse this fucking absolute degeneracy, like, bro, he's, he's such a fucking retard. But all of this really must have slapped him in the fucking face because then he decided to post this video where he's like talking in his car Obviously, it's from the same day. He's like wearing the same shit. I don't pay attention to the soul boys But I was late night couldn't sleep last night search my name on YouTube see what they're saying Soul boys are getting into discord calls a bunch of them Like the same measly same physiognomy low testosterone That's the part that they don't want to talk about like all the liberal people who hate on me all the time They just have low testosterone So he starts off saying oh, yeah I don't even like pay attention to all of these soy boys whatever the fuck man And then he goes on to say well, I was up late at night couldn't sleep. I was sitting in bed at 3 in the morning, searching what the soy boys think about me, even though I never pay attention to them. Bruh. Are you serious, bro? And then instantly jumps into, well, they all hate me because they ain't me. Saying, <laughs> like, you have low testosterone and that's why you're wrong. Like, this guy, he's completely given up on even trying to do the whole political grift and, like, red pill bullshit at this point. And now he's purely into, well, I'm just gonna say whatever the fuck, like, a and Ross and he doesn't care if he sounds absolutely brain dead retarded he'll start caring once his audience grows up and realizes he's just babbling fucking bullshit constantly and can never make a consistent point to save his fucking life but until then I guess we have more cringe to react to and hopefully I grow an audience from that and build up an audience of non retards like they don't have aspirations and so they choose to cope instead of become better you could choose two things when you go on your social media feed you can see people doing better than you and you can get inspired and you can try to see oh why are they successful you can analyze how they got to that point or you can choose to cope in the comments the social media provides you the tools to become inspired or to cope that's what the like and reply the dislike button the reach you could always choose to just be a hater 
And that's what they chose to do. So they're sitting in this Discord call. How much money does Sneeko really make? Um, he probably makes net positive 10000 a month. You know how dumb it is? Like one of the, the biggest leftist political commentator right now. The blue hair one, you know what I'm talking about. So this dude can't even fucking say Destiny's name anymore. <laughs> Literally like piggybacked off of his fucking audience for a few fucking months. And now he can't even fucking bear to say his name. Like I don't even understand how his own audience watches something like this and is like, Oh yeah, he's totally making all of the based and amazing points, guys. Look at him, he's driving his car. Just saying literally nothing. What he's talking about in this situation is a few days ago whenever like Destiny and I think Turkey Tom were like talking on stream and Turkey Tom was just asking like, how much does he make from Rumble? Because at this point, yeah, he's banned off of everything. He's not gonna be getting a crazy Rumble deal because he's not able to go in to any other platforms and stream anywhere else or do anything like that. So like realistically, how much is he making to like try and live this lavish lifestyle he's trying to represent, you know what I mean? But I mean, clearly, if you're up late at night thinking about this, then yeah, you definitely care what the soy boys are saying. And I love how he's just like completely writing it off as like, no, it's just all cope. They comment on me, they make videos on me, that's just all cope because I'm richer. Because I have more testosterone than you. <laughs> he probably makes at most 10k a month. At most! Nigga, you've been to my apartment. You know how much it costs. You've seen my editors, my employees alone and all the expenses before that, way more than 10K a month. Do you think I'm just losing money every month? Is that, what operation do you think I'm running? And they're just sitting them all in a Discord call gaming and like take popping Adderall. How much does he make? This is what you do? I'm sorry, he lives in a one bedroom apartment in like Brickle. I mean, like, what do you think? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, what, I've been in your apartment. What, you act like you live in a penthouse in, like, New York City? Or, like, what do you mean? My rent is probably more than yours. What are you talking about? And at one point, this other soy boy asked, is it rude to speculate how much someone's making? Like, no, how much? They're just jealous and coping. They're sitting in a call live. I don't know why this is their entertainment. How could he say that? Literally, how can he say, how is this even their entertainment, dude? Whenever you're up in the middle of the night watching them talk about you, what do you mean? How is this their entertainment? Why the fuck are you watching it, dipshit? Constant state of coping. At one side, like from the position over here, what makes you kind of want to flex more? They're even talking about my car. It, this is like what they get right after they leave the army. This is an SRT. This is a V8. You know how much this costs? You think they get this out of when you get out of the military? You're gonna hate on my car. That's how down bad you are. So I could choose to flex, or I could choose to inspire more. So. I want you guys, if you're hating on me, you're sitting there eh, coping, trying to find a reason why I'm not better than you, get better. Go to the gym more, make some more money. Instead of watching this content constantly and trying to figure out, he's a grifter here. Try to figure out like, okay, how did I get to this point where I'm successful and I could do what I want? What the fuck? That whole entire end bit literally just was fucking nothing. <laughs> like he was like, yeah, they're coping and you can either like cope or you can flex on them. What the fuck are you even saying anymore? <laughs> At least like the old videos that he used to make were pretty introspective and all of that shit. But that Sneeko is dead. He's gone. He is fully 100% here to just fucking flex on him. Now in fact, ladies and gentlemen, Sneeko is actually coping harder than anyone on the fucking planet right now. Because he decided to respond to like a ton of fucking tweets about this whole clip that blew up about him with him and his little fucking children audience. For instance, Mudahar saying, if this was my my fan base and I met them like this, I'd put a bullet in my head that second, Lamau. Clearly just making a fucking edgy joke, whatever the fuck. And then Sneeko responds saying, why can't they realize that kids will never resonate with fat soy boys? <laughs> yeah, it's just the soy, guys. It's just the soy. And then I will say, uh, Mike Majlack or whatever the fuck his name is, he did say, promoting this type of hate to young boys is worse than any alternative. Not blaming Sneeko specifically, but this is simply not okay and needs halting now. Then Mike continues saying, I understand, they are just young and obviously don't deserve any lasting issues for this, but if you think 
they don't deserve reprimand and redirection, you are part of the problem. Thank you, Mike. Whenever you promoted your fucking porn star girlfriend for months on end to your children audience, you have zero room to speak on this. And then Sneeko obviously makes the easy fucking response saying, Mike promotes porn to his audience. Ha ha ha. And then Mike responds saying, I promoted the personality, sure. I did. I think you had some on your show, too. But now, you just promote hate. And here's like the whole thing at the end of the day, right? Sneeko keeps doing this shit and keeps saying this shit, find truth through funny. And in the same breath, he'll try and say, well, it's all just jokes. You can't have it both ways. Now, obviously, edgy jokes are fucking funny, right? You're just saying wacky, absurd shit for the sake of it. But then in the same vein, whenever you're like, well, everything I say that is funny is clearly true 100% of the time, then clearly you're not joking anymore. Clearly there's something underlying here. Especially whenever you put into account this fucking clip of fucking Sneeko and Little Pump trying to get fucking Trump to bring him on stage during like a campaign. I don't know how he would think in any possible scenario that he'll actually get to be on stage with Trump. All around, Sneeko is just a fucking idiot. Like he, he literally has zero thought process behind anything he says other than clout. All I want is the clout. So let's just have a gander, I guess. Bro, Trump is a good guy, man. Trump, Trump 2024. Yeah. So Pump was saying at the next Trump rally, Donald, Donnie T, I think we should both come on stage and show support. Yes, for the sir. Gen Z, for the new generation, we need you to win. I'm tired of Biden. I think it's falling down stairs. You can't even make a fucking cool speech, bro. And he touches kids, man. Joe Biden eats children. It's disgusting. He eats fucking little babies, bro. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with you? Ugh. I just don't even understand how this is real life anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This is a world that I never thought I would see. Lil Pump and Sneeko both trying to get on stage with Donald Trump. And you know, I don't really care about the whole politics and all of this, and I don't think Sneeko really cares about it either. He really just wants the clout from it. He just wants the attention. So, uh, yeah, might as well piggyback off of that. Hopefully get, like, a couple of his fucking retard audience members to give me some hate comments and boost me in the algorithm, ladies and gentlemen. So if you enjoyed the video, you know, just kind of shitting on Sneeko, please like, comment, and subscribe. Probably for more to come because because of this whole like Aiden Ross, Nico, and Fousey Tube house actually happens, then there's gonna be a lot of drama and a lot of just fucking clips and funny shit to come from all of that. So stay tuned, guys, because I will most definitely be gay retard out.